So following on from my last video, the answer to the question, did Dave have several beers at the party? It's absolutely an emphatic, no, I didn't actually. I was very good. I was very well behaved. I'm very proud of myself, <laughs> which means that I am getting out to a boot sale this morning, albeit very blurry eyed after yesterday's early start for boot sailing. And we're going back to where it all began for the first time in three years. A Clitheroe boot sale is open. This is one I used to go to right in the early days of starting out reselling when I was doing it part time. There's a few reasons I'm chuffed this one's back on as well. It's an indoor boot sale in a cattle market. So if it's chucking it down, it's good news as well. Had some really great results from there in the past. I'm hoping it gets back to its former glory. Only one way to find out, let's get on the road to see what we can find. <laughs> Decent amount of people waiting to get into sell. That is good news. It was definitely the right move coming over to Clitheroe today because uh, when I was left Chorley, it started bloody snowing. Come on, bud, how much you got on your bell? Stand up. Yeah! Hurry! Yeah! Hit the L. Morning. How you doing, man? You well? Good. Drop me. I'll give you. Yeah, go on, we'll do a tenner for that. I'll make sure it works. <laughs> I bought five of these just for them. Yeah. Worth a tenner just for them. <laughs> you can make them though, it's just power cord, isn't it? A lot of these for that, couldn't they? Yeah. It'd be a YouTube video somewhere, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Uh, cheers, buddy. Right, mate. Is this you on here as well, pal? It is, yeah. How much is your Sean? Sean the sheep. Give us a quid. Oh, good man, sir. Yeah, man, mate. Good, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're all right. Oh. I'm starting to think bringing the trolley was a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm not as agile as he used to be. Yeah, 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 he's a wrecking now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool, yeah. Just Cheers. Oh, I'm, just, um, I'm hovering at the minute. Alright, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Just don't worry, it's How much is your food? Two quid. Lovely. Uh, I've got a fiver. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, smash you. Normally I pick up some change on the way in, but I completely forgot this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Someone wants to buy a box off me for 25. Yeah, yeah, it's got all the cards. It's not worth knowing, isn't it? Well, if he dies, he will. If he dies. He keeps smoking that hair. Yeah. I'll put one to your box. Thank you, cheers. I'll come back and see you. Yeah, it's just humor, it's like a camera and all you've got all that on there. Yeah, it's not. I'll come back and see you, Craig. All right, buddy. It's nice, nice to see you still living. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's a puzzle. 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 I know, 15 on them. Yeah. Some of them might be coming back and they want, they want exactly the same ones, plus the dot marks. Yeah, yeah. Eight on the uh, other timber and white. Yeah, the other ones are there because... Where, where do we put the bags of um, carrier bags? <laughs> <laughs> you 20 for both? Yeah, sure. Nice one. Good man, I'll find something else now anyway. Well, I've right. already spotted something. This is all stuff that I would look for anyway. You can yeah. tell you're a seller. <laughs> They're nice as well. Who we got them? And that. 
keeps it nice round figures. Yeah. He doesn't want no change, that's what it is, that's isn't it? This Five man is a good on this man, is this? Spend all your money with this man, James. Yeah. <laughs> 25. Everybody's getting out of the question of sports now, isn't it? Lovely jubbly. We're up to 25 so far, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I'll ask you to fiver up there because they're in great condition. There's no yeah. work to do, you know yourself. Just get them straight on. 35. I never had much joy with pumas. Yeah. Hit and miss, and it would see. I see, yeah, yeah. I'm still winging it anyway, I haven't bloody clue what I'm looking at most of the time. Yeah, but that's <laughs> good. If that was box, it's 200 quid, it's the full shopping centre and it's all still sealed. All right, yeah. The only thing that's missing is a tiny little shopping trolley, which yeah. is already on there. That's a good buy. The top of it Yeah, yeah. Vintage, yeah. No way. He's a guy, he's a I spent all my budget with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it's minty. It's that's, not, it's yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's the thing. You're just clearing the decks ready for new season. I'm too bored to do it full time. I just do it part time. Yeah, yeah. Sick of it. I can't be honest. Yeah. I've got shitloads more. Your kid's a bit obsessive about it, oh, though, isn't he? But that's all he talks about. <laughs> yeah. I need to do it same. so I can do part time. That's it. I was, at a, I was at a biker's rock night last night, all I was talking about is this year. Yeah. <laughs> People, weird. when Ryan used to, before I did it, I, I just roll my eyes and yeah, just look yeah. interested now, I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> but just, <laughs> I've got to stop, I can't help it because we're living in the champ shops are good, we've got the wrong yeah, yeah. stocks just in and out everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Like yesterday I picked up a fucking awning for 25 quid, you know they're expensive, yeah. the caravan awning. Yeah. I thought, yeah, I'll take that, closer to the season. These? Four quid each. Four quid each? probably think I'm running out of money now. No, no, no. 35 <laughs> and 35 and 12. 47. 45? Yeah, go on. It's on. I'll probably add to it again now anyway. These are good as well. I can't, I can't, I don't know the size of the red. Expensive. I can't work out the size of the proper climbing shoes. But they're expensive climbing shoes. You know like brand a four or a five, don't yeah, they? Yeah, and then there's the other ones. They're really expensive. I was going to do a five up pair, but I've seen some one shot, but I've got to stop buying. Yeah. Well, see, I, can't, I, I couldn't list them because I couldn't work out the size. Yeah. The you can measure them, but it, it, it's, the, it's, that's, it's still a bit of a. Yeah, it's a headache. And if you're not exactly right. I, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. James is just on about then They're on about going hiking up uh, Skullfell and all this kind of stuff and taking some beers and that. I'm fucking 52 this year, man. Yeah. Well, I was, I was an ex squaddy. I've we, done my time jumping up hills. Nice no, <laughs> We've got the hill straight over the road from us. We live opposite. Yeah, Pendle Hill, yeah. It's bloody you don't fit. do any electricals? Uh, I do, yeah. I mean, that would have been ideal if it's HDMI. Well, this is good. But... That's a um, Blu-ray and it's a recorder. Oh, and right, okay. 80, 80 quid. Have you the remote with it? Yeah, everything's with it, everything. Let's have a look at the... Uh, I put it on a list of 17 and people are asking for these and all that and then I couldn't be on shipping it. Look up the brand model. Look it up. Before you do, look, there's the cable and there's the thing. Look it up. I was only asking 20 quid today. Yeah. You got but, the gift of the gab, Craig. Yeah, I know, but, <laughs> no, Look it up. He knows the kind of thing I look for. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Well, you know I won't buy dog shit that needs to be cleaning. Of course, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And there's a good chance we'll bump into each other before the end of the season again yeah. as well. Well, there's one more, isn't it? Only because it's free. Yeah. And it's handy. I'm not going to the bottom one, but there's just too many. Well, when I set off from Chorley, it was well, snowing. So you, you said it was a smart move coming here. Hey, I wasn't buying, but I just picked up for a tenner. All the way, all the Wii Sports, all the Mario's, all the controllers, everything. Oh, nice. £10. Pound. I've got some you can have, you know. I, uh, I know, I have four consoles. Yeah. I must have had uh, 10 copies of Mario Kart on. I saw that a lot for one second. Yeah, yeah. I knew break it down. You yeah. Anything. What do you see you got on there, sorry? 20 quid. Yeah, comps are like. Um, it's in good condition though. I've had it all. Right, 30 quid, 30, 40, 30, 40 quid. 
on a 70. It's weird, that, isn't it? No, it's, it's all over the shop. It's all over the show, and then you, they come on sort of 100 and odds and all that. Yeah, it's just at yeah, the right yeah. time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'd be a bit off on that, to be fair. <laughs> I could do 10. Yeah, and I, I'd, I'll tell you what, I'd just sit on see it. Sit on it. Yeah. Come back round when you've done it, when you've fucking picked everything. Yeah, yeah, see if you've still got it, and yeah, then, then we'll talk yeah. again. No worries. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's a bloody good result, that, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Have a good one, I'll see you in a bit. Right. Okay. It's either be a five or a five and a half. Five, yeah. Probably had to squint to that. How much have you got on them? I'm going to fit in, aren't I? <laughs> no offence. <laughs> it is, yeah. I'll keep moving. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. How much have you got in your coat? I just can't. I don't know what's going on. What's that? Dad. What? Where's Tony? Wow, what's up, girl? Thank you, thank you. They're mine. I thought they were Tony's. We've got. Oh, no, that one's mine. Jenna. That, that was not to do with me, that one's mine. And I'm just catching the rail, that's all. Where's the other one gone, Gino? Oh no, that one, mate. The sensible, me and you. Well, so the, the jewels is the ten. Yeah, that's the jewels is the ten. Oh, okay. I don't know. Katie, this is yours, isn't it? Yeah. Franco, is that your coat? Yeah. That's trouble, isn't it? We're all sharing the same blood. <laughs> right, yeah. But, yeah, it's popular. So we're on that, Franco. It's my daughter's 20 quid, it's fat face, yeah. wax jacket. All right, I'll wear it. What's on the pot? That's all good to you, that. Jules? No. no. It's not quite what I hoped it would be set up for house, but I think we'll get there. Morning, pal. How do you, pal? You alright? Yeah, not so bad. You busy already? Yeah, yeah, most of the house in one guy. Yeah. 20 quid I want for those, all yeah. once. I think they were 100 this summer. They were cheap. Size, I think they're three. Three and a half, yeah. Are you joking? <laughs> these tracks, you yeah, get them all out. Up in one packet. What have you got on these, pal? Quid. Two quid. Boom. Absolutely. Bargain. Oh, he's one of these mad YouTubers, aren't you? <laughs> Are we on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're feeling generous. One pound six P. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. Channel. Uh, ABL reselling. Wait, it? ABL reselling. ABL. Obviously. Yeah. What, do you not do, do this? Vintage. Vintage. What's she rubbing there? Sometimes. Any good to have? I've got, some, I've got something for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just looking at your things there. Uh, <laughs> this one. Oh, yeah. That were a cream, that were a Cadbury's one, weren't it? Oh, Cadbury's one. I was thinking bloody Hartley hair. No, no, it's Cadbury's. Pound. <laughs> I'm Cadbury's. Pound. 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 I just landed on these. I don't normally I don't pick up stuff know, like I just that. Thought, well, I saw them. I thought that. Right, yeah, exactly. I like we've just, got, we've just got rid of Basil Brush. Oh, I got it. I like your salesmanship, though. Uh, <laughs> I remember it, yeah, it was Cadbury's caramel. Caramel, caramel yeah. that's it. Caramel eventually. You just made that she, up. She, she was very seductive though, weren't that's she? That's it, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, she's here again. <laughs> <laughs> I think Karen did voice, wife did voice for her. But yeah. <laughs> her. Oh, there you go. That's it. Got a lot to answer for that bloody rabbit. <laughs> Is this you on here as well, is it? How much are your whiskey jugs? Oh, took them all for a tenner. I might just do that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Trick's going to be getting them home without breaking them. No, I haven't. Oh, it's all right. I've got a load oh, of plushies, it's yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a new. <laughs> do you know what size these are? Something red. I can't remember now. It's been a while since you wore them. 
<laughs> oh, there it is. Seven. Yeah. How about these? How much are they? Yeah. Hey, do you want them both? Yeah. Fine. You're a good one. Looks like it might just be an early bath for me today. <laughs> That's great though, thank you very much. Cheers for that, thank you. Have you got the power lead for that? I haven't. No worries. How much is it? Five. Same these are awkward voltages as well. Yeah. <laughs> you get one of those adapters, can't you, yeah. with them all in? Yeah, I've got one to test it anyway. Thank it's you very much. Nice Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. Do you know what? I'm regretting bringing this bloody thing now. It's going to get expensive today, isn't it? <laughs> Vintage that. I do like a sheepskin, you know. It's a, it's female. It was, yeah, that, yeah. That must be grandma's. All right. She's been dead since 2000. <laughs> well, they had me fooled. I thought it was, thought it was a sheepskin. It's strange, that. It's a sheepskin. It's acrylic, that. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, I'll tell you what, look, put it behind, didn't it? Come back in more. Give me five minutes. I know what I haven't got any change. The H is in our thingy bag. Yeah. Hold it all together. I've only got that little change in here. She's got the number. I've got a fibre. Oh, Bill. There we go. Have the lock, the for a tenner. Yeah. What about the uh, Asics? No, it's just on the road. Four pounds? Yeah, yeah gonna be four quid. Oh. oh, I've got no change, I'm poor. Oh. James, you got any change on you? Yeah, 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 yeah. How much, John? Yeah, got two fivers. And I can give you, no, I can give you a lot of pound cartons. Yeah, about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how good was that? Clear the road boot sale did not disappoint. Some really good pickups there as well. And a couple of people actually went out of the way to grab me to say, I've got some stuff you might be interested in, which is really nice. Met some lovely subscribers while I was at it. And I've actually woken up quite considerably. It is raining a little bit, but I think I'd be amiss if I didn't try and get to Bolton on my way home. It's a bit of a dog leg, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's go and have a look, see if we can find out. And we're back in the game. It's uh, about nine o'clock. Just landed at Bolton. It's looking busy. Two full car parks this week. I think the forecast of rain earlier on has put a lot of people off by the looks of it. But I say that, it's still mega busy. It's Bolton. It's gonna be. Harry. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. She needs a wipe, a bit of a yeah. tart up. I think she'll make a fine addition <laughs> to your collection. That's awesome, mate. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, cheers, dude. Yeah, no worries. I had a sneaker suspicion it might be a duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else? Could <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> cheers, dude. Yeah. Let's have a look at your wet suit, Yeah, of course, yeah. It's a triathlon. It's meant for swimming. Yeah. It's got the uh, corner, the shoulders in it. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I wore it a few years ago, but I put a few pounds on since so. <laughs> yeah. then. Uh, this is actually transition too for Iron Man. This is where I got changed oh, in the car park. Okay. Yeah, it's like putting the uh, putting the meat back in a sausage skin these days, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly that. How much you got on your bike boots, pal? Sorry, mate. How much are the bike boots? <coughs> oh, the boots? Yeah. 50, mate. 50 on them. Oh, 
Oh, how are you doing? What's your name? Fella, Graham, mate. Just, nice yeah, you, scouser. Right? I've just, uh, just done bootle this morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was over at um, Clear the Road. First day back today. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So that's the, uh, the go-to wet weather place out because yeah. it's in a cattle market. So it's worth, worth the effort getting over there. was crap this morning. <laughs> it's cold, isn't it? It's cold. Oh, want to be here. standing or standing. Just come here for the change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, He's nice right. You, All the best, boys. Can do 40 on him. There's 45. Oh, just in there, what they're worth on, on well, yeah, the internet. I know, yeah, that's what I've got. I've got that's what I'm concentrating on my margin, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm at, I'm at, I'll be honest, be a max I can go is 40. Go on so. then, give me 40 quid. Top man, thank you, sir. My size as well, I might get some mileage out of these for, for I'd sell them. Yeah. I've got a helmet out of them, you know. What is it? Oh, it's not for me, that one. No. No. I'd spot on that, cheers, help. Thank you. Oh, Jackets. How much is that? Nice girls jacket here. Let's have a look at I think I've asked you about that jacket before. Yeah, what have you got been, on that? It might have been another one out of suit. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a different one. That was a different one. So what's on that one? Yeah, 50 quid. And that one? 60. Yeah, I've been a million miles away on them. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy. I'll, I'll get my prices. I'll tell you what, I'll be quite honest with you. Yeah. In my belter box, though. The Eccles Motorbike Club. All oh, right, yeah. In, in they, they all go fucking drinking in the Malaga Drift. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I play there. Yeah. So when I when I get motorbike stuff, I know I can look on the fucking eBay. But yeah, of course, yeah. it's better to speak to the, I think, because they ain't buying and selling the fucking shit. Of course, shit all yeah, the yeah. Well, you can look on eBay and it's fucking. You know, yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. But, uh, I'm happy with my boots. Have a good day. Okay. Would you do six quid for all of them? Just having a look at your shoes again, pal. Nice. Uh, the mains is the really dear one, that. I'm doing it at five. Cheers, man. Thank you. Well, here's a sentence I never thought I'd say. I came to a car boot sale and I bought a boat. That was a really weird trip to bought and didn't get so much predictably. I mean, it was nine o'clock when I turned up, so <laughs> the likelihood of be finding anything was remote anyway. A few pickups, decent return in the pickups though as well. I'm gonna get everything home and take you through what I got from both boot sales, but I need a nap so badly. <laughs> I am properly on my chin strap. I'll see you on the flip side of that. Now, initially I thought I did all right today, but looking at it from what I paid for what I got, it turned out to be a little bit meh. Let's find out if it was actually a good result or not. It was a surprising one, but not necessarily for the reasons I'd like it to be surprising. Let's get into it anyway. Laid them out in a nice little arc for you anyway, for your perusal. I'm gonna start with the big boy. I didn't actually get this on film, but I bought a boat. <laughs> The box is a little bit tattered, but it's brand new. This is a Z-Ray St. Qua, 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 C-R-O-I-X. 360 two-man kayak it's got the pump and the paddles with it like i say box is a bit battered from storage but it's all there i paid up for it at 60 quid and i was having such a crack with the the trader there i've bought off on countless occasions now i just skipped researched it didn't put as much effort into it as i probably should have done even so not too disappointed i paid 60 pound for this and a dab radio that i bought from him so i'm going to put a cost on this of 55 pound not so many comps for this type of thing probably obviously really but i'm kind of thinking coming into this time of year holiday season people are getting out more doing this kind of activity it's safe for money i'm going to put a listing value of 150 pound on it there are a couple of comps for this specific kayak and ones sort of like different colors different styles for higher than that and some brands and models you're looking for five six hundred pounds so definitely worth checking out if you ever come across them not that, not that that happens very regularly obviously <laughs> Next, some really, really nice motorcycle boots. Again, I paid up for these as well. This, the, the good high-end stuff I paid up for today. Alpine Stars is a great brand to watch out for for any motorcycle gear. You won't catch me dead in these. They're more for sort of like Power Ranger motorcyclists. Come on, let's see what these things can do. Yeah, let's do it. 
Not that I've got anything against that, boys and girls. These are the Alpine Stars SVX boots. Sparse comps on them, and they do come in different colours. I would think that black would be the most popular colour, to be fair. Goes with pretty much any bike. I paid £40 for these, and they have a listing value of £70. A multitude of plushes now. First up, we've got Disney Simba. Still got his tag with it. Looks in new condition to me. £4 paid for that, and listing value £15. I was quite surprised with this Build-A-Bear Pikachu that it wasn't higher value. I think I did get carried away a little bit buying plush, which I don't normally do. And there's a, the chap that I bought him off, he's a reseller himself, having to clear out. Met him and his brother on, a, on a, quite a few occasions. Really, really, really super nice family. So obviously helping him have a clear out. Paid £4 for that as well. Listing value £14 on that one. These were quite surprising. J paid just a pound for Thing 1 and Thing 2. Official Universal Studio tags on them. Listing value on those, £15. Sean the Sheep, I've picked up these before and uh, I, I, I just, I've forgotten that I told myself not to do it again. But I think I just got on a bit of a, a trip about picking up plush. Uh, it's got its jumper, which is a good selling point, actually. The ones with the jumpers tend to go for a little bit more than ones without. Loads of comps for sure. No, Mollis and Gromit stuff. In fact, it feels like it's got a sound box in that. So it might be a talking one, so I might just have to reevaluate. It has got a talking box. Ah, peculiar. That might change the landscape a little bit because I just valued this as a plush. I'm going to stick to my guns on that because it's going to be worst case scenario now I've noticed a talking one. Paid £2 for Sean and I'm going to put a listing value of £13 on him. I'm going to revise that up obviously when I do my due diligence. And I guess this one was properly disappointing because it feels really great quality this woody woodpecker probably more of a vintage piece now i don't think they re-released any woody woodpecker stuff it's weighted in the feet as well so it'll probably be freestanding i think i paid four pound for that one as well from the same chap that i know and listing value on that 12 pounds so i probably should have left that one with him to be fair from the seller I bought the boat from. I'm never going to get tired of saying I bought a boat at a boot sale. This is a Pure Move DAB Radios. Pure is a great brand for DAB radios. This one is a rechargeable one as well. There are different ages of this radio as well. The new ones go for very strong money. We're sort of looking, talking between 40 and 60 pound. Uh, this is the older version, obviously untested. I have got a multi adapter that can charge it. These still go for strong money if they, they come with the original Pure uh, charge lead. I would have thought it had been unlikely for me to source a genuine one because the, they can be quite expensive. It's not an unusual voltage though so I'll, assuming I can test it with my multi adapter and it's all hunky dory, I'll just buy a cheap and cheerful aftermarket one. Paid just £2 for it and with its charge lead, listing value on that £25. Didn't do too badly for footwear today. A bit of a, a bit of a smorgasbord. These look in absolutely immaculate condition. These new book Timberland boots. I might even go so far as to, to list those as new without box. These are the Authorite models as well. So obviously another keyword there. Paid £15 for them and listing value on those £50. I've written these down because I never remember the name of all these models of, of football boots. I've sold some really, really similar to this, uh, these Predators, just recently, and they went for ridiculously strong money in that condition. And we're talking like 60, 70 quid for used boots. These, although they look very, very similar, aren't that model. For the life of me, I can't remember what the model it was that was uh, worth looking for. Ooh! Still pay just £3 for them, and these love a listing value of £25. Next boots are more like it though. These are Nike Hyper Venom 3 Academy. Again, cost, pi cost price £3 on those and listing value £50. Incidentally, on Nike and Adidas boots or Nike and Adidas trainers, any, any type of footwear really, I'll stick a, an image of the tag up on screen for both. Now on the Adidas, to find out what model that you're looking at is, if it isn't obvious, if it doesn't say on the trainers, you type in into a Google search, Adidas, and then everything after art. Similar case with the Nike, just type in Nike on the Google search and, and all the numbers in the sequence of numbers that look like this on screen. Typically a series of six, then a hyphen, then three numbers. Now, particularly in the case of the Nike footwear, what that should do is bring up the exact model and color because the three digits after the hyphen are the color. That'll tell you a couple of things really. It won't, it won't just tell you the model name so you can search comps on eBay. It'll also give you a, a 
further indication that what you're looking at is genuine. In the case of Nikes particularly, if you type the full number in and either no results come up or the wrong color or the wrong style then that's that is an indicator not a hundred percent indicator but that is an indicator that what you're looking at may be fake so it, unless it brings up exactly that boot in this case then i'll be very suspicious so i'm youth boots now adidas Predator 18.3 firm ground. Again, pay three pounds for those and listing value 20 pounds. Nike Phantom VSN Academy. These are turf boots, pretty good condition actually, just need a bit of a wipe down with a wet rag. Cost price five pounds on those, listing value 30 pounds. Per trainers, I've sold just recently in a different color. These are the Asics Gel Kayano 17s. Very popular with runners, these trainers. Paid four pounds for those and listing value 25 pounds. These were very surprising. Adidas 11 Questra. More of a classic boot, these. I paid just three pound for them and they are in really great condition, uh, but the listing value is just 15 pound. I thought they would have gone for more, but there you go. Some really nice Timberland women's suede boots now. In Im almost immaculate condition. They've had very little wear at all. Good looking boot as well. A cost price on those 10 pound, listing value 40 pound. Again, Timberland, Earth Keepers, and men's boots. They're surprising. They look new on the sole, but they've got a couple of marks. I'm thinking these may be factory seconds, or I'm not going to list them as new anyway. Perhaps just near mint, because aside from the little mark on the front, they may actually brush out with a suede brush. I'll, I'll give it a bit of a go. Again, pay £10 for those, listing value £35. Some whiskey jugs. I picked up some, maybe last year, the year before. Completely forgot that the young are out for ages and I probably shouldn't have picked them up in the first place. So talking to a couple of lovely ladies on a stand and I just talked myself into buying them again. I did learn a bit of a lesson though, so it's not a complete fail. I paid £10 for all three and the breakdown is Tullamore Dew. That's an Irish whiskey. Listing value on that, £15. The Long John, listing value, £8. And the Glenfiddich, £13. The interesting thing I did learn was uh, Irish whiskey, whiskey jugs, sell for a little bit more, generally speaking, than Scottish whiskey jugs. I don't know why that is. Small lesson learned. Every day's a school day. Nice standard pickup. This Furby Boom looks in really good condition. Uh, typically with these, they, they suffer quite badly from people leaving the batteries in the, the battery compartments uh, and then rotting. And depending how long and how badly they've been leaking in there depends on whether they work or not they're very sus susceptible to that they do have very low spares or repairs value for the purposes of this video i'm going to assume this is working pay four pound for it listing value 18 pound been a while since i picked up a leather baseball mitt this is more of a kid size i've got pretty big hands to be fair this is a right hand mitt this is a mizuno prospect series leather glove you can tell it's leather really good quality glove that i didn't know actually that mizuno, mizuno made baseball products i thought they were just specifically golf gear really paid just two pound for it listing value on that 15 pound sony dab radio this needs a charger as well i paid just three pound for it the model is the xdr s16 dbp dab radios still are a fairly safe bet and aside from being a little bit grubby and needing a wipe this is in really good condition got a strong suspicion that that will be working and assuming it is listing value 25 pound last today and it's actually the first pickup of the day again probably something else that i shouldn't have picked up my first pickup of the day is always a little bit of a giddy one paid 10 pound for this can't get it out of the box this rather impressive bell brand spanking new as well though look really great on somebody's home bar not so much in the way of comps though i paid 10 pound for it and i'm going to put a very tentative listing value of 30 pound on that I'm fairly confident the last one I sold went for that kind of that kind of money as well just in addition to what i spent on stuff to sell i picked up some boxes as well from bolton paid a fiver for all those and also it cost me a fiver to get in early at clitheroe so not too shabby a result today from the two boot sales. I mean, maybe I'm just being a bit hypercritical of myself that I should have found more really. But 
I did get out yesterday as well, the video you will already have seen. So all in all, a pretty successful weekend. Looking forward to seeing how it develops at Clitheroe as well. Like I said, that was one of the first boot sales I ever went to when I got into reselling. And if today's anything to go by, it's got great potential to return to its former glory. And it doesn't hurt to have another indoor boot sale locally as well, relatively locally. If there's something I missed that you didn't, let me know in the comments below. Always eager to add to my knowledge bank. And of course, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell for notifications of the next time I post a video up. Thanks very much indeed for watching, guys. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you in the next one.